one thing I do like about this game is the CQC. At least you can actually fight back properly, unlike in Mil Gear Solid 2, where you just spam the button, pew pew pew, and all that. But you, you actually have an effective way to grab enemies and use them as human shields. Actually, you couldn't use them as human shields in. Um, no, you could use them as human shields in Mil Gear Solid 2, but not in a way like this where you can just use a gun as well. I think the best thing to do is just hide. While I'm waiting, I might as well eat some food. I'll eat the ration I had. No, I eat the white one voucher. From well, I mean, vulture. Oh, so you like it. Was that like a loud kick I heard? <laughs> like, get off! We want you to do your work like a scientist does. Alright, I'm back. Bloody ga gas man now. <laughs> nice. I just hope when I get out they won't see me thinking, huh? What are you doing in there? Oh, nothing. And that's the last thing I bloody need is them to catch me again. And the scientists. Fucking scientists! I should be fine. Wait for the alert phase to go down and I can find the uh, raven. Uh, thingy, thingy, thingy. Canceling the alert. Return to your position. Is that them buggering off? Yes, it is. Good. There's a frog, which I don't really need. There's a guy with a hat, which I just knocked down. <gasps> There's the guy! Yes, he's coming this way. Come on! How good of him just to come by and just, you know, voluntarily get knocked out, get knocked out by me. Which, I think I need to change my camouflage to do that. That's annoying. Funny enough, they don't explain where the, the mask I've got came from. Come with me, come with me. Don't fight it, don't fight it, pretty boy. Good! Ha ha ha! He wears leather panties. No, he wears a a leather thong! Oh, with a lightning stripe on <laughs> with a little lightning mark on it. And with a riding poster! <laughs> That's it. <a sh> <laughs> oh, what the hell? Right, let's do this. As um camouflage. 
I said, they don't... Here's the thing about this mask. You know, we got that from the start. And, you know, oh, it looks exactly like R Raiden. Um... You can... If you... Say you like Metal Gear Solid 3, you can start with the mask on and then take it off. Or the snake shows it being taken off as a disguise. And... I don't know where they get... It doesn't explain where you get this. I mean, I don't know if it's different if you choose, like, if you like this or like that. It's weird. So, there's a bit of a plot hole there. <laughs> and there we go, officer uniform. Thank you very much. Time to get to the West Wing, wherever that is. Ah, your Rykov disguise has turned out nicely. Yeah, not even his own mother could tell the difference. Indeed, you're starting to irritate me already. Ha ha ha. Why? This look should make me more popular. I wouldn't bet on it, but whatever. Now that you're indistinguishable from the real Rykov, you'll be able to get into the West Wing, to which only Volgin and Rykov have access. Head for the West Wing of the Weapons Lab. That's where Sokolov is being held. Enter the main wing from the second floor of the East Wing. Pass west through the main wing, and you'll come to a connecting passageway. The West Wing is at the other end of that passageway. Infiltrate the West Wing and rescue Sokolov. Alrighty then. What? Piss off. Is it second floor? The nice set of stairs here somewhere? Sir. Maybe I can get some... Yeah, Mark 22s. But where is the floor I'm supposed to go on to um, West Wing? I think that... I think it was actually there. I uh, I think this is it. Nope, doesn't apparently not. So, let's check the map. Wait a minute, wasn't the door... I wouldn't think it's that door, I thought that leads, like, outside. Let's have a look. Um, do 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 Can we see? Can we see? I'm gonna go and see. Main wing? Oh wait, we'll have to go to main wing and then... Alright. It's like... That's me not listening there. There is Shagohov! Which is not a Metal Gear. Which I don't think it is. They don't call it a Metal Gear. Or oh, anything like that. I'll go back over here for a moment. I want to have a, like another look at this. Can't see much. <laughs> hey, I wanna watch Sega was saying about my disguise. Tell me something, Sigint. What's that? What does Sigint mean anyway? It's short for signal intelligence. Signal intelligence? The part of intelligence that deals with electronic information. Things like intercepting and analyzing electronic communications. Determining enemy force strength and positioning from radar emissions and radio chatter. You get the idea. Code breaking is considered part of SIGINT as well. Forty years from now, we'll be in the age of electronic warfare. It won't be long before information replaces firepower as the most valuable commodity on the battlefield. 
So you're saying they won't need guys like me anymore? Sorry to break it to you, but that's not gonna happen. No matter how advanced our technology gets, there's still no substitute for human beings. Anyway, the Major is a man of foresight. He knew the Electronic Age was coming, and so he called out to me. And you responded? Well, I didn't have any place else to go. You couldn't find a job? Nope. None of the places where they do this kind of high-tech research would even let me in the door. Why not? I know you've got social problems, but... Come again? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, Social with problems. Your talent ought to be able to. Yeah, well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that I'm black. Obviously. Uh, the major, though, he doesn't care about what color you are. I've never met anyone like him before. He's different, you know. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't think racism's going to go away even in the 21st century. But I want to work with computers and use them to bring people closer together. In the digital world, it doesn't matter whether you're black or white. American or Russian or whatever. Everybody's going to be the same. That's what I think. And of course you can lie about your gender. And your age. Okay, you're disguised as Rykov. Yep. You ought to be able to pass for the real deal in that outfit. If I don't you speak. You can go anywhere you want and nobody's going to ask questions. But don't forget that you can't equip most of your weapons when you're in disguise. You can't equip any. All right, I'm gonna do a little save. Do you want to save? Yes, I want to save. Go on, save. What a terrible way to get into this place! You know, getting caught and had the fight with the Fury. Well, I had the fight with you and then getting caught. Have you seen Earth versus the Spider? Nope. It's about this spider that suddenly mutates into a giant monster. Obviously. They bring it into the city in a state of hibernation, but it wakes up and starts wrecking the place. So why did the spider turn huge? I told you, it suddenly mutated. Is that? Yeah, right. <laughs> Snake, it's people like you that take all the fun out of watching movies. Always nitpicking and taking things too seriously. Honestly, why even bother? Look, the important thing isn't that it got big. Then what is it? The fact that there's a huge spider destroying the city. Yeah. Suspend your disbelief. That's the whole point of movies. Alrighty then. That reminds me of a uh, a B movie. Um, I don't know what I don't know what it's from, but it was called it was just called Tarantula. It looked fucking hysterical. Uh, I've not seen the movie, but I've seen trailers of it. It just looks hilarious. Tarantula! Oh my god, giant spider going about! Ah! Well, giant tarantula, actually. 